Good morning Jude, good morning Abraham, Jad, Arich, Mary, Nehemiah and all little children everywhere. God bless you all. I'm going to show you the picture. And that's what I'm going to read to you now. It's all about Mary, the mother of Jesus. And today she has a new title. Mary, Mother of Mankind. Jesus said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. You can read that in John 19 verse 26. As he died, Jesus entrusted his beloved mother to his dearest friend. In actual fact, it was more that he was entrusting John to Mary. And in John, every person was entrusted to Mary, for her to bring each of us to Jesus. Like all mothers, Mary watches over us with unlimited tenderness with love that nothing can discourage. Her maternal presence is given to us as an immense gift. Jesus invites us to take Mary into our own home, to live with her at every moment, to let ourselves be educated and purified by her presence my joys and my sorrows, my hopes and my fears. I entrust them all to Mary. She is there at the heart of my life. And I pray that she is at the heart of yours. I'll continue with a few more words of Mary. You know all our joys, O oh Mary, and all our sufferings and sorrows too, all our sins, all our refusals, and all our doubts. You understand them all. All your children gather under your mantle. They take refuge there, filled with trust. You gather them tenderly to yourself. Thank you, O Mary for consenting to be our mother. And this prayer is for all those who have no mothers. They might have died while giving birth to you. Some accident or illness took them before time. But when you have a life without a mother, it's tragic, but you must always turn to Mary because she will be your mother. Now my mother's gone on to the Lord Mary is now my mother too. And if you're separated from your mother for any other reasons that you can't be with your real mother, don't forget to turn to Mary. She loves you so much. She's waiting to hear your prayers for her to intercede with her son, Jesus, who loves you so much that he gave himself on the cross for our sins, which we were born with because of Adam and Eve's sin against God. Thank you for listening and God bless you and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye. God bless you. Love you all. Nana Janet saying bye bye.